Well, here we are. Two videos in one night. That's got to be a record. Uh, I thought I'd give you guys a different angle. This time I'm standing up. Normally I sit right over there. My computer's there. This is the screen. This is my daughter's really old bed behind me that the dog uses now. Um, got some comics up there, but this is where I've got eight of my short boxes. Uh, plus I got a few more comics under there. I've got another five short boxes over there. I've got my manga collection here, Konosuba, Gunsmith Cats, um, a lot of One Punch Man up to 23, graphic novels, uh, my lovely Hellboy omnibus is right there, Hush omnibus. I've got, uh, this is a very cheap knockoff figure here. That's uh, Salia from um, Firebound. This one, great box, tiny little figure. That's Elfine from uh, Crusher Joe, uh, Batman Cookie Jar. Uh, I love this one. This is actually, I believe, the authentic uh, Asuka. Um, big Asuka fan from Neon Genesis. Doesn't have the box, but what can you do? <clears throat> Raven, her uh, Amikomi demonic form. This is a very limited print from Batman the Animated Series. It got way back when in the 90s. Um, so it's pretty cool. I'm happy about it, but I promised I was going to show you guys kind of what I've been picking up lately. So here it is Supergirl. Now, why am I picking up Supergirl? Well, I like Supergirl. She's great. But I got to thinking about significance for, you know, comic book collecting and what's hot and what's significant, like significant characters. Like she's been around since, what, 53, something like that? So, whereas you could say something like Stray Dogs in five years, it's, it's still significant. Very hot right now, or even Something is Killing the Children. Huge title. Great story, but go five, ten years, right? Still around, still significant? Hard to say. Um, Supergirl, yes. These are basically my art germs. I mean, now art germ, his biggest, did I bring it out? No, still the uh, Batman 92 B cover with uh, punchline. I think that's going to be the one he's remembered for. Uh, but this. If there's going to be a character he's done a lot of that people will probably associate the art germ with, I think it's Supergirl. So this is a DC Universe Supergirl 19. Supergirl, or DC Universe Supergirl 23, the uh, foil. Let's see this one a lot. 26 with the uh, kitty. And a really nice one that is 28. This one I just picked up. I got it, I think it was seven bucks, but uh, yeah, I love that one. That's a Michael Turner Supergirl, uh, number 13. So that's actually Batman Superman 13. Uh, really great Michael Turner cover for seven dollars. It was hard to pass up. These are ones I just received in the mail. Uh, Warren Lowe. This is uh, DC vs. Vampires number two. The uh, Supergirl cover. And there it is. So I got both with the... Uh... Now these variants, yeah, they're not cheap. And I, I don't know how they're going to be for values or anything. I just, I really dig that cover. So uh, one last thing. Just show you guys something cool. This is kind of... like. This whole thing's from Ikea, and then you can buy these. These are really great for uh, holding your oversized magazines and books and whatnot, but these are two of my favorites. I always remember these as a kid. It's a sort of like your oversized ghosts in your oversized house of mystery. I used to sell these a lot for a dollar. I love these things. Uh, what else we got in here? Dick Tracy. 
I remember reading this one as a kid. It's not in the best of shape, but I had to get it because I always remember that story. That was uh, uh, Garcia Lopez. Did all the art, did a great job there. Uh, Secret Origins Super Villains. You know, Adam's favorite book. <laughs> this is a great one. I love the uh, Super. That's a great story, too. A little uh, Batman, oversized, Spider-Man on the back. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, like I said, I really love those. Those oversized, they're pretty cool. So, anyway, just show off some Superman or Supergirl. I'm sure I've got more Supergirl, but I mean, it's one of those things. It's a long-term character. Big spec, uh, probably not, but I think our has got a good career left ahead of him. Very well known. Uh, some people are going to collect that. Going to be like an Adam Hughes? No, probably not, but who knows, right? So anyway, I like I like the covers. I picked them up, you know, between five to ten. Sure, why not? So that's sort of what some of the stuff I've been getting. The uh, Warren Lau is a little bit more than 5 to 10, but uh, I just really dig that cover, so all good. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Oh, yeah, my shirt. If anybody here is from Canada, might recognize that as the raccoons. Bonus points if you can name them. Anyway, talk to everybody there. Bye-bye.